Hello everyone. Welcome to our new session on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. In this session, we will discuss the four pillars of Microsoft 365 Defender, understand Defender for Endpoint in detail, its capabilities, minimum licensing requirements, integration with Microsoft solutions, installation guide, supported Windows versions, and data storage in Endpoint Defender. We will also look how the Endpoint Defender dashboard looks like. Let's get started. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is part of Microsoft 365 Defender Suite. Microsoft 365 Defender Suite has four pillars. First one is Defender for Office 365. Second one is Defender for Identity. Third one is Defender for Endpoint. And the fourth Cloud App Security. In this session we will discuss Endpoint Defender. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, formerly known as Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection, is an enterprise endpoint security platform designed to help enterprise networks prevent, detect, investigate, and respond to advanced threats. The platform provides preventative protection, post-breach detection, automated investigation, and response to possible threats or breaches in security. Endpoint Defender has six capabilities which are, threat and vulnerability management, attack surface reduction, next generation protection, endpoint detection and reduction, automated investigation and remediation, and Microsoft Threat Experts. In terms of capabilities, Defender for Endpoint uses the following combination of technology, built into Windows 10 and Microsoft's robust cloud service. First is Endpoint Behavioral Sensors. Embedded in Windows 10, these sensors collect and process behavioral signals from the operating system, and send this sensor data to your private, isolated, cloud instance of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Next, we have Cloud Security Analytics. Leveraging big data, device learning, and unique Microsoft optics across the Windows ecosystem, enterprise cloud products, such as Office 365, and online assets, behavioral signals are translated into insights, detections, and recommended responses to advanced threats. Next, we have Threat Intelligence. Generated by Microsoft Hunters, security teams, and augmented by threat intelligence provided by partners, threat intelligence enables Defender for Endpoint to identify attacker tools, techniques, and procedures, and generate alerts when they are observed in collected sensor data. Next capability is Threat and Vulnerability Management. This built-in capability uses a game-changing risk-based approach to the discovery, prioritization, and remediation of endpoint vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. Next, we have Attack Surface Reduction. The Attack Surface Reduction set of capabilities provides the first line of defense in the stack. By ensuring configuration settings are properly set and exploit mitigation techniques are applied, the capabilities resist attacks and exploitation. This set of capabilities also includes network protection and web protection, which regulate access to malicious IP addresses, domains, and URLs. Next one is Next Generation Protection. To further reinforce the security perimeter of your network, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint uses Next Generation Protection designed to catch all types of emerging threats. Next on the list is Endpoint Detection and Response. Endpoint detection and response capabilities are put in place to detect, investigate, and respond to advanced threats that may have made it past the first two security pillars. Advanced Hunting provides a query-based threat hunting tool that lets you proactively find breaches and create custom detections. Next capability on the list is automated investigation and remediation. In conjunction with being able to quickly respond to advanced attacks, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint offers automatic investigation and remediation capabilities that help reduce the volume of alerts in minutes at scale. Next is the Microsoft Secure Score for Devices. Defender for Endpoint includes Microsoft Secure Score for Devices to help you dynamically assess the security state of your enterprise network, identify unprotected systems, and take recommended actions to improve the overall security of your organization. Next is Microsoft Threat Experts. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint's new managed threat hunting service provides proactive hunting, prioritization, and additional context and insights that further empower security operation centers to identify and respond to threats quickly and accurately. And lastly, 
Centralized Configuration and Administration, API, helps integrate Microsoft Defender for Endpoint into your existing workflows. Moving on, Endpoint Defender requires one of the following Microsoft Volume Licensing offers. Windows 10 Enterprise E5 License, or Education A5 License. Microsoft 365 E5 or the A5, Microsoft 365 E5 or A5 Security, or the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint License itself. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint for Servers requires one of the following licensing options. The Azure Security Center with Azure Defender enabled. Or, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint for Server. Moving on. Defender for Endpoint directly integrates with various Microsoft solutions, that includes Azure Defender, Azure Sentinel, Intune, Microsoft Cloud App Security, Microsoft Defender for Identity, Microsoft Defender for Office, and Skype. In terms of installation, once you have ensured that you have met all of the minimum requirements, you'll want to decide which format of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint will be appropriate for your organization, that is, cloud native, co-management, on-premise or evaluation, and local onboarding. Next, choose which device you want to onboard, Windows, Mac OS, Linux server, iOS, and Android. Finally, configure the capabilities of the program to maximize the benefits for your company. These include detection and response for impacted devices, next generation protection, and attack surface reduction, according to Microsoft's website. The supported windows are listed on your screen. It includes, Windows 7, 8, 10, Server and Virtual Desktop. The other supported operating systems are, Mac OS, Linux Server, iOS, and Android. The supported browser for dashboard is, Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. Now let's understand the data storage, collection and protection details of Endpoint Defender. First let's discuss data collection. Information collected by Endpoint Defender includes file data, such as file names, sizes, and hashes, process data, such as running processes, hashes, registry data, network connection data, such as host IP and ports, and device details, such as device identifiers, names, and the operating system version. Microsoft stores this data securely in Microsoft Azure and maintains it in accordance with Microsoft privacy practices and Microsoft Trust Center policies. In terms of data protection, encryption is one of the most critical, and it includes data encryption at rest, encryption in flight, and key management with Azure Key Vault. And finally in terms of data storage. At service onboarding, by default, data is retained for 180 days. However, one can specify the data retention policy for their data. There's a flexibility of choosing in the range of one month to six months to meet compliance needs. At contract termination or expiration, the data will be kept and will be available during notice or grace period. At the end of this period, that data will be erased from Microsoft's systems to make it unrecoverable, no later than 180 days from contract termination or expiration. And for the use of advanced hunting data. Advanced hunting is a query-based threat hunting tool that lets you explore up to 30 days of raw data. Moving to our last section. This is how the Defender for Endpoint dashboard looks like. It gives you a very comprehensive view of your environment, including active alerts, incidents being worked out, and other statistics. I hope the video was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. If you need copy of this presentation, please email us.